what's going on. I've got a quick workout movement sequence for you here to run through today. Now, this is one I like to use as a warm up for mobility or can be used on vacation or away from home for a quick little burst of movement or just throughout the day. You know, if you've been sitting a long time in the chair, get a little bit of movement in and get those muscles working. It works upper body, lower body, core, just gets everything moving. So let's run through it today. It's real simple. We're we'll using four movements that are gonna be combined into two doubles for six. And then lastly, for a quad movement, all four of them for seven total different movement patterns that we've got, again, using those four as a base. Now, it's a lot of numbers, but it's really simple. So let's run through those first four. You're gonna use a kettlebell. Ideally, you can use two dumbbells as well, or body weight is just fine. Again, it's kind of to get you moving here. So first one is gonna be that deadlift. You're gonna start legs on either side, just lifts them straight up there. Now those knees are gonna get a nice bend. I'll show you from the side here. We don't want them fully extended like in a Romanian deadlift here. Back's gonna be nice and flat, and those knees are bent. So that's your deadlift, number one. Every leg movement is gonna be paired with an upper body movement. So after the deadlift, you will get your upright row. We're gonna keep that bell nice and tight to the body, bring it up towards the top of that chest, and make sure those elbows are staying above the hands. So again, deadlift, upright row, one and two. Number three, again, is gonna be your lower body exercise, goblet squats. So you're gonna tuck that bell in, Nice and tight to the chest, right below the chin, squat on down and come on up. Again, nice knee bend, nice hip bend, everything staying facing forward for that squat. After that squat, your upper body movement and the last of the four basic ones is gonna be your shoulder press. So right here from a kettlebell, looks just like this with dumbbells, obviously. You can bring it out to the side and for that upright row, the dumbbells can spread apart a little bit. The other two are pretty much the same. So those are your four basic movements. Then, like I said, we're gonna string them together. So the deadlift and upright row flow right into each other. So this is what it looks like when you've got both of them. Now, here we're using the momentum from the deadlift to power that upper body movement here. Because the legs are much stronger, the key is to save those upper body muscles, the shoulder, the arms, as much as possible and make sure that that weight is never moving. It doesn't become two separate movements here. It's one fluid piece, just like that into the squat and press. So again, my squat is powering my shoulder press here, and all the way down, driving those legs to the floor so that you get some momentum to pop that weight up and use as little shoulder as possible. Last one, all four at once, the only difference here is going to be that transition where you have to go from the upright row into the goblet squat. And you want it to be as fluid as possible. Again, as little rest for that weight sitting up here. So you're going to almost drop down into that squat at the same time you get up top. So here's what it looks like. Deadlift, upright row, squat, and press. Again, one, two, three, and four. Now, I've done that move hundreds, maybe thousands of times here. So I've got the fluidity pretty well down. You might have to do some practice to make sure that weight is staying nice and tight to the body and going in a straight line up and down. From the side, here's what it looks like. Again, deadlift, upright row, squat, and press. There you go, bing, bang, boom. So you can set this one up however you would like. Number of reps, you could set it up on a timer and do 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off and just run through it. How I like to do it is usually do one to two of the singles, one to two of the doubles, and then for the quad movement, I'll do like two to four sets somewhere in there. Again, keep it short, just get a little bit of mobility in and uh, let me know how it goes.